How's it going, people? Michael here, and thanks for tuning in. First, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple of websites that I frequent. First one is CBR250.net. It's a great resource for CBR250R riders. It has information specific to this bike. And the second is GTAMotorcycles.com. It's a great website for riders in the Toronto region. This episode is about me installing reflective stickers for my rims. So they're red. It's an okay choice for my bike, the tricolor CBR. I got these off eBay. They're really cheap. I think it'll add a little bit of visibility, especially at night when I'm riding. It's a very simple installation, so I'm only going to be needing the following tools. A roll of shop towels, some grime off cleaner, alcohol, a pair of scissors, a rear stand. Oh, there's a chair there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the rims to make sure that the sticker adheres to the rims properly. But first, let me put it up on the rear stand. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and rinse off the dust and debris with just with water. I'm going to use this product called Grime Off. I'm being careful not to get the chain wet there because I don't want to have to clean it after this. Might as well just clean the side of the tires too. Just a little bit. So I'm going to rinse it with water again. Yeah, so I've gone ahead and cleaned the whole tire. And I'm just going to repeat the process on the front tires. Except that it's really going to be a bitch because I don't have it lifted off the ground. I'm going to wait for it to dry and follow it up with some alcohol. So it turned out to be easier than I thought because when I turned the front tire, the whole bike moved back because the rear stand actually had wheels on it. I just had to pull the bike back and that gave me access to the part of the tire that was being blocked by the fork. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up some more with some rubbing alcohol. I just want to make sure that the surface where I'm applying it is absolutely free of anything that might impede the adhesive from adhering properly. I'm going to do a couple more passes and then we should be ready to apply the stickers. Now that the surface is prepped, I think I'm pretty much ready to apply the stickers. This is the crucial part and I hope I don't f*** it up. First sticker. wasn't bad. Okay. I'm going to create a quarter inch overlap. Third piece. So far so good. I'm going to save this piece and I will put it on something, I don't know, maybe my helmet. I think this one went on okay. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process on the rest of them. OK, 
Okay, I'm done. So let's zoom out and see what it looks like during the day. So that is what it looks like during the day. Later on, I'm going to ride it and see what it looks like at night. some of the imperfections in the seams you can see that they don't really line up properly over here but I guess from a distance you can't really tell there are some other products that I know are available that comes with an applicator those would work better but they're a little bit more expensive they're only two dollars so I can't really go wrong so anyway that was the installation of my reflective rim tape for my CBR 250R. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.